Good morning everyone from City Box Hotel in Tallinn. Today is our last day, we're actually checking out now. We seem to have acquired like double the amount of stuff we had in the first place. And I've given up with my dog Martin today and I will finally be wearing my walking shoes. But we're going to check out, then we are intending to go and get some food because we did sleep in quite a lot today because Helsinki just completely wiped us out, I think. So we did have a bit of a lay-in. But it is snowing. Again? I don't know if you can see it. Probably. I'm not sure, no. probably not. But we're going to check out, then we're going to go to the Tesveliki district and get some breakfast before our bus at 3 o'clock. just left our hotel and it is absolutely freezing. Don't mind the fact I'm wearing two bags, this is a Lavius bag. We have, like Lavius said, we've acquired so much luggage, I don't know how. Um, but we are gonna go get some breakfast, so uh, we will see you when we get to the restaurant. Yeah. The, um, it's currently five degrees here. In minus five. Minus five degrees. <laughs> I wish it was five degrees. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's currently minus five degrees in Tallinn. Um, it's absolutely freezing. Uh, we're waiting for the tram uh, to get into... Televiskivi. Televiskivi. That's definitely not how you say it. Yeah. But... Um, so yeah, we will get back to you once we get there. But like I said, trams, when you do come here, I recommend taking rather than like taxis or Bolt, is it called? Bolt yeah, cars? Bolt and Yandex are the ones to use. Yeah, so they're a lot cheaper than your average taxi. But again, like these trams go absolutely everywhere around Tallinn and they're so cheap it was three euros for both me and Olivia for an hour so I recommend doing that when you do come here because they'll take you literally everywhere so we will get that and actually I think that is our tram maybe yes arrived at Telviskavi I realised that we have actually been here before. We went to the um, turd market which is the one that we recorded but the sound was just terrible. So because we were just really hungry we went into a cafe directly opposite the tram stop called Cafe and we got four croissants, one white chocolate latte, a massive one and kind of got some weird juice with things in it that's meant to be good for you and it was 13 euros which is actually really reasonable considering the price in Helsinki yesterday so we got the ham and cheese croissant chocolate croissant same there again white chocolate latte and some weird old drink but they offered to um I'm so excited. warm it up for us which was even better. So yeah, we're just gonna finish this and then we'll head off to the markets. We just finished our breakfast. Success. Success, it was really, really good. And for like 13 euros, you like, can't go wrong with that. But um, as soon as we got off the tram in Tervisky, um, it's literally, as soon as you get off, you'll see it right in your face. It's called caffeine. Um, so I do recommend coming here. But the reason we are here is because we've spent most of our time and most of our money in Old Town, so we decided to venture somewhere else. So what what other place to go than here? Um, we've also come here because we can get a tram, about a 10 minute tram into markets that we haven't been before. And Olivia will say the name because I can't. Kestturg. Kestturg, and we haven't been there. Obviously, when we came here, we've realized we already have been here to the Turg markets and I mean, in my opinion, it wasn't the best. I mean, it's nice in there, but it really wasn't the best. Um, the food was good. Food was good, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we've already been there. Uh, the reason we're not showing you is because the video got corrupted. Not well, the video got corrupted, but the sound is really bad. So your ears will implode if you <laughs> hear that. So we're not going there. We're going to go to other markets. So hopefully it is a bit better yeah. than the Turkish markets. Um, and as soon as we get there, uh, we'll show you the shops and everything. And it wouldn't be a genuine reaction if we did go there again because we've already seen it all. So we'd just yeah. be recording it for everyone else's benefit. Just be lying through our teeth like, wow, look at this shop. But we've, we've already we've seen, seen it. it. We've seen it, so it doesn't really matter. So we do apologise for that. But there's so much to see in Tallinn. Just sadly, most of our video got like 
again corrupted the sound was so bad so we can't show you but i definitely do recommend coming here it is a hidden gem in europe i think yeah. that not many people know about it's definitely worth your time yeah um so we are going to go off to see the markets and then after we see the markets we will update you on where we are going next and how we're getting there Exciting. we have arrived at kesk turk market it's a large indoor uh, kind of indoor market area we're just gonna go and have a look around while we're still in Tallinn but the only thing is we do have quite a lot of things Connor I'll yeah. show you. hold it like that and I'll show you. this is my current look. situation so markets we aren't the most easy of things right and now. I have this round my neck so i look like a fool <laughs> but it's okay we're, we're gonna do this quickly but try and get as much as possible because otherwise our backs will die yeah they'll give out these are very heavy i'm not sure we picked the best bags so yeah okay we are about to go in anyway oh. yeah we're just clambering through snow at the moment the snow here Let's is just, honestly about three four i just deep. hope it's i don't I, even think it's Oh it? no! It does look pretty good though. Okay. Connor can get his hat from here. Connor was wrong. It is open. He's looking for the Russian style hats and that come down and cover your ears. Obviously, some people might not like or like you recording. Beautiful. very quiet. I wouldn't want to know how busy this place gets. What's this lady selling? What would you find in that? Mango. I can imagine this one, it's really busy, like in the summer. Oh, in the summer. Could you imagine how busy that would be? Hello. I think this is definitely more of a summertime. Yeah, but get everything here. Sweets. Connor, by the way, has been banned. Banned from holding the camera because yeah. if you'd have seen the video from Helsinki, you would have hated it. It was, he was waving it around as though he was in circles. Well, you would have got the biggest mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. I guess these are like medicines and vitamins. A uh, fake Nike hat. <laughs> Real. I'm trying to find my Russian hat. Oh, look, it's my. That's a nice hat. I'm trying to find my Russian hat. Well, they might not have it here. Well, the thing is, as predicted, I have lost one glove. Doing terribly well. Oh, what is that? Oh, la la. Ooh, la la. Maybe not in this weather. No, <laughs> you'd get a bit cold. I've eaten so many croissants. I don't we have know. literally turned into a croissant. a croissant at this rate. Oh my gosh. Hats. I think we're gonna go in here. No, we're not. No, we're not. They're all women's hats. Oh. He could always be a. A babushka. A babushka. Or you can have some willy coats. You didn't even need to bring anything, Connor. We could have brought everything from here. And that. Is literally the market. So, I mean, if you turn around and look at all kind of like the stalls and the benches, like this, you can imagine how busy. And I wouldn't, if it, I wouldn't doubt that it would be heaving yeah. in the summer as well. Is, well, I'm not sure if it is actually. No, we stand corrected. There are more stalls down here. We were just being 
in a rush, I think. I think Connor wants to get the bag off the back as quickly as he can. So we walked around in a circle around here and now we're going back down some more you can have coats and jeans hello more coats the coats aren't actually that bad for us no but i'm guessing all this bit would be open as well yes few bargains. But just know, if I do find a tap, I will get it for about 75% cheaper. For sure. Negotiations. But is Connor a match for the Eastern European I don't know. I do it in shop England. owners? Yeah, he tries in England. Oh. Maybe in here. <gasps> there it is, Connor. There's the hat. There's the hat. That, no, that's not the hat. That looks There's like... one up here. Th this one? Yeah, uh, and there's I a don't button. like the colour. Why don't we go and have a look? I can't believe we thought that market was over. Because look at all of these hats. Lovely coats. <laughs> we did just miss our whole section by oh, accident. You can see all the stalls that are closed, which go to show there are many more. Look at all of these. So, no hat. We did no find hat. a hat, but it had like leather buckles on it, which I didn't want. But they did seem to be 25 euro. So to me, that's about what, 10? <laughs> so I was looking at that price. And I'd, yeah, I'd try to get it down to 10 euro. But um, yeah, see if any other stores are open. But right now, they all seem to be, a lot of them just closed. I think it just it wouldn't be worth it for them. The cost no. to keep them open in the winter when not many people are here, especially yeah. tourists. Yeah. I can imagine COVID has probably impacted it quite a bit as well. Yeah, not too much open. Which is sad, but understandable. Very understandable. But yeah, like I, said, I can imagine this in the summertime. I think oh, if you this come... Oh, Probably homemade things. You have a lot of much better time than you have. But there's some houses down there for flats. And this corner, if there's nothing here... Then yeah. that's the tour of Kesk Turk Markets. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much a tour of the market. Um, it was all right. It'd be a lot better in the summer, I think. We have just arrived into Tallinn bus station. We found our bus on the departures log and we're just sitting, ready to go. We're leaving about an hour's time. We're leaving at three o'clock. Um, we got her a bit early, uh, just in case we didn't know how to get here. It was a little confusing, but it was absolutely fine. It's uh, so easy to find. Yeah, tram service here is amazing. Um, but we are going to be sad to leave, leave this city. We definitely will be back here again next year, probably. Hopefully. Sooner rather than later, because it is such an amazing place to be. And there definitely is a lot to see. So I definitely recommend anyone that wants to come out uh, definitely come give this place a visit a day or two max mm. uh, i wouldn't go any more than that um couple tips i'd probably just say use a tram service as much as possible don't use a taxi don't use a taxi or anything um and if you're on a budget supermarkets everywhere um just go to the supermarkets you'll be absolutely fine 
and maybe only a couple meals in Old Town, like the actual. Yeah, that was center. where we made the mistake. Yeah, yeah, we spent a lot of money there. But we have got some Oreos, some chocolate biscuit. Well, not Oreos. The budget version. Budget version of Oreos, yeah. yeah, yeah. And just the drink kind of like. So we just got some snacks for the journey. Yeah. But we will let you know where we are going when we get there. But try and guess because it's four and a half hours away. So we're Italian, four and a half hours away. Where can we go to? You have a guess. We'll let you know. So yeah. At the end of the video. Trusty Flicks bus to take us to... You'll find out. We've just boarded a coach to our next destination. It is a Flix bus and it was £20 for both of us for a four and a half hour journey. There's Wi-Fi, toilets, we've got loads of leg room and we've got tray in front of us for all of our stuff. Very comfortable seats. Comfortable seats. We didn't record the boarding process because we had so many things just in our hands. It would have just caused an absolute nightmare and we didn't know what they were going to check because we're not travel when you need a Anston chest overlying. So our next destination is dun 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 Lavia. Riga, Latvia. We are so excited to go to Latvia. I've wanted to go for such a long time. A little bit nervous about crossing the border just because you never know what to expect with the COVID restrictions at the moment. But we will be so sad to be saying goodbye to Tallinn. I do recommend coming here, definitely. Mm -hmm. well, the original plan was to continue by train down to Tartu and then cross the border into Riga. But the way the PCR test, antigen test would have worked, we would have needed two tests, one for Helsinki and one for um, Latvia. And it just, Too much it, money. yeah, the expense was just not worth it. But uh, just a quick tour of where we're sitting. You've got seats. That's what everyone else's seat looks like. Relatively empty. You've got desk space with obviously we've made messy got loads of leg room but my bag's there and a toilet and you can access wi-fi and onboard entertainment you can't really ask for anything else no so it's going to be quite a good four hour journey mm -hmm. we're just gonna watch the views and say goodbye to talent one last time so we will see you guys in latvia and here we are in our Airbnb in Riga, Latvia. We had a bit of a dramatic moment when we realised I left my childhood hippo in the hotel in Estonia. So I had to do some calls, but we have managed to get him shipped back to the UK. But it is a bit of a home alone moment because he probably wondered why his mum abandoned him in the hotel. Sorry, Henry. Sorry, Henry. But... Really, there was nothing to speak about. The journey was uneventful. We had no checks at the border, nothing. No passport checks, no COVID regulations checks. We were expecting at least an uh, antigen PCR test because it says they have the requirements from UK visitors. We had nothing. But my little smart, my smarty pants of a brother told me it's because we are going in the Schengen area from country to country. But... I still expected some checks to be in place because of COVID, but... None at all. None. I thought it was all right. I mean, I fell asleep for most of it. It was really comfortable. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Funny, fun fact, not, not a fact at all, story. He fell asleep and he was snoring so loud. <laughs> the person in front of him stood he moved. up, moved, and also looked over the seat at Connor and was like... Oh, mm, right. So I was like, that's what I have to put up with. Yeah. My snoring isn't that loud, can I just say? He was a bit overreacting. But... Yeah. So now we are in our B&B and we have decided to get his burger. burger. Now, we have a... Uh, what is it? A horror story. We have a tell. horror story and something to admit. We did have a his burger the night we came back from Helsinki because, because we, were so tired. we were exhausted. And I heard it was like the Baltic chain... 
like similar to McDonald's. So I was like, high expectations. Oh, we was went in. Oh, it was just it. Food and drink all over the that, floor. No, that's not the point. The point was, we ordered our food. We came back to the hotel. We had, Connor is very fussy, but hasn't been on this whole trip. And he asked for no anything apart from bacon, cheese, whatever. And they'd obviously scrape the sauce off and then... Wet the burger. Because <laughs> I said no sauce. They put sauce on there. I was like, shit, you wanted no sauce. <laughs> and then they, they put sauce on it and then they washed it off because my bum was wet and you could taste the ketchup on the burger. <laughs> and the patty was flat. And the, the coke was the flat. The coke was flat. Um, so... The food was terrible. But so. we are not ruling it out. We're going to try it. Again. Again. One last time in Riga because... Tomorrow's our first full day, but we're really trying. So we'll try the chips. The chips. the chips last time was stale. They're cold, but that's our fault because we walked back. But, mm. but they're, they're these, look, these are much nicer. The nuggets. I'll show you the nuggets. Let me give this to. Yeah. Honestly, I so, FaceTimed my nan, and she was she was even loving. They don't they don't look crispy. They're hot though. They're still hot. Okay, try it. Hot. Try it. Um, let me open this dip. This you is can, a pretty big deal. This is a pretty big deal. Uh, I'm trying to call those, but we, I have my own. He can have them. They're hot. They're hot, everyone. The barbecue dip isn't bad, actually. The bare minimum, but we're excited. Mm. Give your honest opinion. Okay. There's nuggets. Bad. No, I don't. There's nothing to say. They're just okay. Uh, nope. Just tasted chicken. They're all right. But, sorry everyone, McDonald's is still winning. Oh, let's check the burger. So I've just asked for cheese and bacon and they laughed. So I'm not, there's no- I mean, it's fair. I laugh as well. I think it's funny. There should be no And sauce. so does everyone in England who asks, so. Just cheese and bacon. So let's see the consistency. Okay, so. You're not even in it. In the so the bacon, there's actual bacon this time. Last time there was only one bit of fat. It is a bit fatty. Yeah, okay, they've done better than the Estonian. A lot better. Because the Estonian was literally that, <laughs> and that was my bacon. So they've got more burger. They've got more bacon. The bun isn't wet. So that's okay. So I'll give it a try. So, I think Riga have won. Yeah. That's so much better than... Mm. And this was cheaper. So mm. Let me try the drink. We got... We got Two lots of nuggets, nine nuggets, two chips. Even though they forgot the chips, I told Olivia, we have fish. make sure there's two chips. <laughs> She's like, there's chips, one lot of chips. I didn't, I so, didn't. So, two lots of chips, a burger, two lots of nuggets, and two drinks for 14 euro. And in Tallinn, we got that, but one less drink, and that was 16 euro 80. Mm. So it's cheaper here. But, and it's nicer. So, choose your Hesburgers wisely, people. Oh, it's been a long day. Yeah, so. Tomorrow's our first full day. I'm gonna get up early. Show you the room when we get up. Everything. And um, yeah, so that will be the end of this little segment here. Um, I just wanna tell you guys before we go that um, if we are if we are wearing the same clothes, that's because we are backpacking as well. We don't have a lot of clothes with us because we don't want to be carrying massive bags with us. So we're obviously we're doing it on a budget, we're backpacking, we're trying to save as much money as possible and we're taking you guys on the ride mm -hmm. with us. We're going to be visiting around the whole of Eastern Europe um, because really- Fingers crossed. Yeah, because it's not spoken about a lot and we kind of want to show you guys how beautiful it is. So hopefully one day you can come here because not only is it cheap, it's so amazing. It's not spoken about a lot. So that kind of is our goal, but- um, And the people are so nice and I think everyone has expectations mm -hmm. or, of what they <clears throat> think place is going to be like. Enough jibber jabber, yibber yabber. <laughs> um, we're going to eat our food. Mm. Our, all right, food. And um, we will see you in the next segment, which will probably be a room tour. So, bye. See ya.